Okay, we reference to the ANOVA PowerPoint. Let us try to 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 solve a problem here um, in doing hypothesis for ANOVA. So the situation is we want to determine whether there are differences in CGPA scores between students from the three groups, BA 2414A, BA 2414B, and BA 2474D. So the hypothesis is, the now hypothesis is mu1 is equal to mu2 and is equal to mu3, meaning that there is no difference between the three groups, whereas the alternate hypothesis is at least one mean is different, meaning that Alternate hypothesis says that at least one of the group is not similar to the others. So whether we can reject HO or cannot, let us try and solve the problem. So this is the data that I have in terms of the CGPA scores for the three groups. The A, 241, 4A, 2.4D and 247, 4D. So if you refer back to the PowerPoint slide, what application that you should use? In the Excel, go to data analysis, and you should look for ANOVA single factor. Okay, ANOVA single factor. Click OK. So, first we want to select uh, input range. So we select the whole thing here. Select the whole thing, hold on, hold on. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult. Let me try again. Okay, so I select the whole data from the three groups and I would like to group it by columns and I check in labels in the first row because I want this label, the name of the group to appear in my analysis. So again, you have to select your significant levels and commonly we are using 5% as an uh, alpha value. And now the output range, where do you want to have it display in your worksheet? So I want to have it here, and that's it. Let's press OK, and we have the output here, ANOVA single factor. So what are the values which must be the focus of our analysis? There are three the F value, the P value, and the F critical value. Let's highlight those values a bit, put it in yellow. Okay, if based on critical value approach, whether we want to reject HO or we cannot reject HO, we compare the F statistic with the F critical value. So if the F statistic is bigger than the F critical value, we reject the null hypothesis. But if the F statistic is smaller than F critical value, we fail to reject HO. So what can we conclude here? Zero point three two, which is the F value, is definitely smaller than the F critical value of three point two. So F value or F statistic is smaller than F critical value. Is smaller than F critical value.
meaning that we fail to reject HO. Fail to reject HO. Cannot reject HO and we reject H1 but we accept HO. The other approach, a similar approach that we have been using for one sample and two sample is called p-value approach. So p-value approach, we are comparing the value of p, p-value with the sigma value. So remember, the sigma is 0 0.05 of 5%. So what do we have here? What can we conclude? Our p-value is 0 0.72, which is bigger than the sigma, or 0 0.05. So p-value is bigger than sigma. P-value is bigger than sigma. So we fail to reject HO. And we accept HO and reject H1. So what can the conclusion be is that we fail to reject HO and we reject H1. So what can we conclude is that the CGPA scores between the three groups are, are not different from each other. Meaning that there are similar scores between the three groups of 4A, 4B and 4D because the mean of the three groups are similar. Okay?